and welcome to the second edition of the throwing assassin um as you can see i've already worked worked my way up to here basically all you missed was some gold farming and i did get a better knife i got i replaced the normal throwing knife with a flying knife which does more physical damage, which is always nice, and it just happened to have a socket in it. But uh, I haven't really progressed much in terms of character development. Now, Storm Crows, I can see being useful. I think I've. S but I can also see, like I said, I also can see it being sorta of detrimental. Also, I do want to draw attention to this. Uh, yeah. See the knives plus one and then plus two when out of combat? Um, is that... Like, what does that mean, out of combat? Just when you're outside of a certain radius of the enemy? Okay, I, ooh. Ooh, it can attack stuff off screen. Okay, that I could see being pretty nice and hand being handy. Yeah, someone tell me what that out of combat is supposed to mean. Okay, also... It still costs too much mana. And I do see that every hard... Every point in it... Oh my god, that just crippled me. Um, I do see that every point is lowering how much uh, mana it costs. I guess I'll invest a point in it for now. I can always respec later if I need, if I feel it. Uh, yeah, of course. I, I immediately died because I didn't have the fucking blink hotkeyed. The order welcomes you. Yes. <laughs> like how I ended up in that area. Okay. Okay, get the hell out of there. Can I eliminate some of these enemies? I am trying my best. You, you need to go away. Same to the Harlequin that was there. Okay, and I need to find the goddamn shaman. So he's got to be around this area somewhere. There you are, you prick. There. Stormcrows does seem pretty useful, but does the uh, seek range improve with hard points, I wonder? Oh, gotta find, uh, there you are. Goodbye.
And can I... That's Shaman. Where are you at? There you are. Oh. Oh my god. No. I am gonna need some life leech of some sort with this character, so I'm not gonna go with Deadfall as the belt. Just because I'm gonna go with Worm Tongue because that provides a fair bit of poison damage. It has a lower strength requirement and it gives uh, life leech, which I do need. It's not exactly as if I have famine to work with. Or some form of fast health regen or lifesteal ability. Okay. I have a feeling I'll be go leveling up once more once I find a uh, Wrath Raven or whatever that bat's name is. Another reanimate. Please eliminate the thing. Please. Okay. And I'll be getting to level 10 here for too long, thankfully. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, it improves stun lane, hard points. Hades Gate, poured into a corpse. Yeah, I'm not. First of all, that seems kind of dangerous. Number two. Number two, there's actually a, there's a shield that can actually grant that ability. It's in a, it's a low rune in Assassin Shields. I've seen this. That has chance to cast Hades Gate on kill. Wait a minute, what the hell? Let me, let me see that again. Okay, well, it's not gonna work because these damn, all right, let's see. Let's see how this works. Hmm, okay. I'm really hoping that the range of that improves. Because I'm not sure if I really want to max that. I mean, I'll respec again, because I put that extra hard point in it. Thank you. Are you... Okay. Alright, as long as I find the waypoint... And I don't even have to kill Blood Raven. You never had to. It's just something I always did because it was part of the... the quests. Okay. Okay. 
and we eliminate these guys. Okay, eliminate the goddamn Harlequins. Seriously, I'm sick of their teleporting around crap. Okay, well, I found the area where Wrath Raven's gonna be. Hmm. Well, I like that they're... I do like that they seem to be too stupid to uh, pursue me right now. Okay, well there goes one. Yeah, screw this, this is faster. I see it's Wrath Raven taking the punishment. Yep. Okay. Well, I'll be recycling that. How is this tree escaped corruption? Hmm. I don't know the assassin quotes well enough to uh, say the phrases along with it, like I did with the necromancer. So I'm not going to be doing that. Oh, very good. And because I'm, I am uh, impatient. I'm just going to teleport whenever I can. And, oh god, yeah, I have open wounds on me. Ooh, Frost Raptors, they're not good to deal with right now. Even I have no resistances whatsoever. Hello, Protector. And, let's see. Okay, well, I still see the same number of knives. Regardless if I'm in or out of combat. Unless... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll admit I don't exactly understand the mechanics of uh, Storm Crows just yet. I haven't really used it too much. Like, even when I did my first throwing assassin, which I never even got to level 50, so... Yeah, that right there shows I didn't use throwing assassins that much. Okay, so where is the... Where are the Kayan stones? Also, and I said I'm op open to gear suggestions, that does not include the ring, because just like with the melee necro and just like with the lazy den, the, the rings I'm going to be using, at least as of right now, are going to be those those lovely Emprian bands, because those Emprian bands, man, ooh, they are awesome. For every character, pretty much. Certain spellcasters might use a normal rare one, but pretty much anyone else, especially one that invests in more than one stat, goes into Emprian bands. They are, are awesome. Hmm. 
Come on, can we? Fuck you! Get out of here! Oh my God, this really isn't doing enough damage at, right now. This is exactly why it's not on player's eight. I try to progress on player's eight whenever possible, at least till I hit level twenty-five or so. But I just can't do that here. Not at all. Okay. Queen of Blades. That's actually a pretty decent skill. These cannon stones have to be around here somewhere, right? Or is this map gonna... Okay, there it is. pick up that flying knife. Are we good? Are we good? Nope, we're not good. Freaking Harlequins. Alright. but I don't care. I can farm that later. Uh. What the fuck did I just do? Uh. I'm really hoping I didn't glitch out the game. hoping that I can either... Okay, good. The portal did open. I was really worried that I would have like, had the stones lit up, but the portal wouldn't have opened up. You know what I mean? Basically, I was hoping that I didn't accidentally trigger a game-breaking bug. giant frickin' mosquito. Oh my god, why? I'm dead. No, oh, somehow I'm not. Not yet, anyway. Okay, and I... Hello.
Okay. This will probably level me up a few times. I know I can get two items that I'm thinking about using for early game right now. Like, if I get good RNG with the, uh, um, the lucky boxes. Because for the assassin, I know I've mentioned this before, but the lucky box drops, drops something different with each character. It normally drops a class-specific weapon or armor, something else, and some, well, two other things that are totally different. This is why I have trouble with this character right now. I don't like this. Can we please kill something? Stormcrows, why are you not doing enough? Why are you doing so little damage, Stormcrows? Oh my god, why? Please. Okay. Well, I was correct. This gives me quite a bit of experience. Oh my god, I'm screwed. Ooh, not quite. I used up all my potions already, though. Oh my god. This is the problem. I have everything close to dead, but they're not dead. And I don't care if they're close. I can't fucking move. Just level up already. Progress me to level 12 so I can get something better. Please. Hide my corpse in the cow, why don't you? <sighs> why does the character have to be so weak in the early game, anyway? Fuck. Of course, that asshole will keep summoning those little bastards until I kill him. Okay, you gonna hide my corpse in the cow again? Surprisingly, you didn't. Um, okay. Harlequins. My favorite enemy so far. Thank God. Okay, Queen of Blades, Way of the Spider, Psionic Storm. I guess I'll put another point into uh, Storm Crows for right now. Where are you? You're an asshole. Die. Thank you.
I might not have enough strength to wear tier one Jatons. Or not Jatons, uh, Albrecht's Revenge, which is what I plan to use for my uh, body armor at the moment. It's either that or Jatons came on. I'm kind of favoring Albrecht's Revenge because that has a lot less of a strength requirement. And, oh, good. There's my belt. There's my shield. Anyway, it has a lot lower strength requirement, plus it does more flat cold damage than Jatan's Kamon. I mean, Jatan's Kamon does give better tri-elemental damage, but in terms of just cold damage, it does more. Plus, it gives flat cold resist and reanimate. And speaking of reanimate, um, in regards to what I said earlier about this being a rather flimsy build or whatever it was I said, Oh yeah, I said it was weak at this point of the game. I don't take that back, but I'm Larix Legion. You see the reanimates there? That's gonna be a help. Yeah, I like that. I like that a whole hell of a lot. Yes! I like the looks of this. I don't plan to use this for the entire game, of course, because these reanimates will not help me later on. But for right now, I'm gonna stick with I'm gonna stick with it. If nothing else, it'll give me uh it'll give the enemy something else to attack and not just me. Furthermore, these guys attack at the same range I do, which actually isn't a good thing, because they might all be coming for me. Okay, I need to kill you off. Also, I love the assassin. I do remember the assassins, like, hurricane, get out of here, type speech. If I can ever get the fuck out of here. Away from these damn Harlequins. Now I think if I increase the difficulty of players 8, I think the reanimates get stronger too. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong. I think the reanimates might actually get stronger with players 8 as well. All right. Hi, Deckard Kane. Okay. Kane, go to the road camp. <laughs> I love the way she delivers that line. It's like, Kane, what the hell are you doing around here, dude? Just go back home, old man. That's the impression I get from it. Um. So I'm going back, talk to him. So I'll kill Blood Raven, and then that'll be the end of this segment. So I think off screen I'm gonna farm uh, the Albrecht's Revenge. I mean, I can always change which armor I wear later on. So I I do still want to listen to you guys' uh, suggestions as to what gear I should use for this part of the game anyway, the, uh, the elemental damage portion of it. Once I hit uh, mid-game though and start getting sacred, Items. I know. I know what weapon I'm going to be using, and that'll be the Lem Rune Word inside throwing knives. Double mo'd. All right. Yeah. This this is looking good. I like this army. I, this little reanimated skeleton army I've got here. And the more I kill, the bigger the army grows.
I don't think the skeletons will be that strong, but eh, any bit of meat shield will help me right now. Is it this? I know one of the female characters calls uh, the summoner in the Arcane Sanctuary a freak. I think it's the sorceress, but I know one of the characters has a dialogue. When you kill the summoner, she says, Good riddance, freak. <laughs> I always like that line. And I don't actually know offhand which character it is that d says that. I think it's the. It's either Sorceress or Amazon, obviously. My army will destroy you. Yep. So, so Blood Raven, we have your undead army versus my undead army. Let's see who wins. The more you summon, the more my army can grow. Yep, you got annihilated. Actually, yeah, I do want to hear the uh, the one-liner. I think, I think the one-liner is what I kill stays dead. I'm pretty sure that's what she says. What I kill stays dead. Yep. Okay, so next time I'll have Albrecht's Revenge.